Hi everyone, Katie here. Welcome back to another layout video. Today I am still using some pictures from my trip to the beach and I also have my Echo Park kit uh, called Let's Be Mermaids. Um, so I get out my kit and I'm flipping through the papers trying to decide um, and ultimately I am really drawn to that um, mostly blue paper that has kind of like a wave-like design. Now it's a pretty paper by itself, um, but the waves really got me thinking about how it would be so cool to add a little bit of texture to this. So I decided to cut out um, all those, uh, I guess you call them waves, wavy lines, um, just as they are. So, you know, the blue stripes, I suppose you might call them, and then the white stripes. Um, I just fussy cut them out with my scissors, and you can see I'm still stacking them in order there um, at the top of my workspace. Now, this does take some time, um, and it is not exactly perfect. The lines are not exactly crisp, um, so if that's something that bothers you, you might want to use a more exact tool. Um, it does not bother me. I still really like how the layout turns out and um, I really like it so I'm gonna continue using my scissors now I don't cut out the whole page because I know I want to put it all on um, a piece of cardstock as well kind of reassemble it on a piece of cardstock but I do know I want my photos to also like mimic that wave or go in that wave line so that's why you see them up there together um, now that I'm putting things on top of them. So once I get what I feel um, are sufficient waves, which is coming up here soon, I will go ahead and pick out a piece of cardstock. Now, um, I debated quite a bit on my cardstock. Like, did I want it to also be blue? Did I want it to be a different color? Did I want it to be a patterned paper um, from the collection? So I will go through a few different blues. I think I finally settled, you know, blue is going to be the best one. Um, and after looking through a few different shades, I come up with this coordinations piece. And it, I believe, is just called baby blue. Um, so it's a good piece of just, you know, flat cardstock. It's not textured or anything. Um, but I am going to use all my cutout pieces to create the texture on them. So right now I'm just stacking them as they were um, on the original piece of paper, but I am spreading them out so that you can still see that baby blue color coming through um, from the you know base cardstock. Um, now I'm not exactly sure what I want to do, but I know I'll need a lot of adhesive. I have two different rolls of foam tape. I just get my foam tape at the Dollar Tree. It's archival quality and it gets the job done. Um, I also have um, my regular double-sided tape there, which I don't end up using, another dollar store uh, item, and my eighth inch um, double-sided tape from scrapbook.com that I do end up using here. And then I, of course, I have my Tombow tape runner for flat things. Um, so I'm gluing down the mostly blue layers here. I get those down first because I know I like where they are I like how those look and I know that those are not the ones that I want to add dimension to and add texture to. Um, so I figured, you know, best to get those down first, uh, which is exactly what you see here. And next I'm thinking about these white layers. Now there are two different types of white layers. There's some thin ones that are just completely white and then um, the thicker white layers that have like what well, looks like a little purple maybe navy blue, not the best with colors, um, on them as well. So the ones that are thicker with the um, dark color on top of it, I, I really like those. I want to add my foam tape to them so that they stand out and have dimension and give the paper texture. Um, so I'm adding my foam tape here. <laughs> it takes a little bit. You gotta. I haven't figured out how to curve the foam tape yet, so had to take that in pieces there. Now, here, the one that I'm putting down now, I, I love it, and I love the texture, um, but later I put my photos right on top of it. 
Um, which was the original plan if you looked closely there in the beginning. But, you know, once I, I get in my head, you know, oh, okay, so we're adding foam tape to these. I just didn't even think about my pictures. Um, so that was a little bit silly. But you know what? If that's the worst thing that happens, we're doing okay here. I think at least. Um, so I'm getting my last little um, dimensional layer down. And I'm looking, you know, I like that the blue is showing through here. I don't want the thin white layers. That would just be too much and too difficult. So I decide to try a technique I've seen on um, YouTube before where you just use double-sided tape and add glitter to it. And I thought, well, my layout definitely needs some sparkle, so I wanted to try this just on a scrap first. The first line is just a straight line, and the second I kind of curved um, to see how it would go, if I could make it go with the waves. So with this eighth inch um, double-sided tape, I am creating my own little layer where I'm going to add glitter. Um, now, this was not the easiest thing to make it curve smoothly. Um, I really had to pull it tight as I was putting it down and make sure that it really stuck down well. Um, or else it would get bubbles and gaps and it just wouldn't look nice and smooth like I wanted it to. Um, so if you're going to try this, make sure you are pulling your tape tight. Um, so I do it one layer at a time and really like one side of one layer at a time so I don't make a major mess with my glitter. but. It really works out pretty well. I was surprised at how nice and clean. I don't know why I was surprised. It makes sense um, that the double-sided tape would hold the glitter in a nice clean line. But I was surprised at how easy and clean um, and just pretty. It really added to my layout, I think. Um, so I am doing that just three of them throughout my page. I think it just adds that little extra something um, that this paper really needed. And I feel like the background so far, <laughs> as you can tell, is like the highlight. Um, it really has a lot going on. There is texture, there is dimension. Um, with the different patterns on the page, there is you know interest, there's something to look at no matter where you look. And um, that was you know the vibe I was going for, so I'm really happy with it. Now I have four little pictures. I believe they're all three by three. Actually, that wouldn't... Um, yes, there are four pictures, three by three. That's right. I cut them before we started um, filming. But I want to overlap them just slightly um, so that I can kind of create another wave uh, with my photos. So you can see I'm kind of adding them together and gluing them together. Um, because I have that already, you know, foam... Uh, little white and navy purple um, piece that already has foam tape on it. I know I have to put foam on the back of my photos. Um, and I had debated um, adding a mat to them, but I thought that would just be too much. There's a lot going on, and you can definitely see what's going on in the photos. Now, some of the waves or the color of the ocean might get a little bit lost on the paper just because there's so many similar colors but you know what the subjects of the photos don't get lost at least I don't think they do so I am happy with how that's turning out now I'm pulling out my embellishments I do have some of the let's be mermaids um I think it's the frames and tags that I have or maybe just the general ephemera I, I do not recall which one I got I've had it for quite a while and I did not get it at the same time as I got the kit but I'm picking through those and looking at my other beachy embellishments to see what I want to add. I know I don't want to add too much because, like I said, the background of the layout really... Oh, sorry, you hear my pup there. Um, Kip. Okay, he calmed down. Sorry about that. Um, the background of my layout is really, uh, I think, the star of the show here. So I didn't want to add too many embellishments, but I did have a few cute pieces actually from this collection. So I definitely wanted to use them. I have the little frame that I put around just one of the pictures. Um, I know it's kind of unusual, but I thought it just added a little bit of embellishment. It didn't overpower anything, and I don't know, I just thought it looked cute. So I go ahead and keep that there, and I cut out um, a little journaling card from the uh, kit, 
and I have this little Let's Be Mermaids um, title that I use. See, not a whole lot of embellishing, or at least not a whole lot of things I've pull I have pulled. I do add a few other things. So I do corner punch the um, little journaling tag. It is a Fisker's punch uh, called Sea Pearls, which again, how appropriate. Um, and I go ahead and do my journaling. This is just uh, me and my sister in the ocean, enjoying the waves. Um, as I'm sure you've heard if you've watched any of my other videos, I went to the beach over spring break. It was not quite warm except for this one day. So we were both um, excited to be able to get in the water and kind of surprised. Um, but that's what I write there on my journaling card. And I go ahead and take my jelly roll glitter pen and just outline the little seashell there again i just think you can never have too much sparkle and shine um so that is what i am adding right there and i feel like i really like all the elements of my layout i don't want to add too many more um but i do feel like things are a little naked you know i want to cluster a little bit um, for my, you know, to have like little embellishment clusters, um, not go too crazy, but still add something a little more. So I go ahead and look at the sticker sheet that came with my collection kit. And there is like a border of cute little fish. Um, and I thought they would make, uh, a cute little, you know, sticker to put around, um, add one to each of the well, embellishment areas, the title, the journaling, and the little frame. Um, so that is exactly what I do. I add, since there are already three on the frame, I decide to put two up by the title. Um, one blue one that's on there you can see, and pink one. And then I add just a couple more stickers, these little starfish. I thought they made uh, nice little additions. And now I'm still like, okay, there's like something missing, just a little something. Um, so I grab my Spiegel Mom Scraps uh, Dance It Out sequin mix. I really like the small blue sequins in this. I've used it in quite a few layouts. Um, and I add them above a, a couple of the fish uh, to make them kind of look like, you know, little air bubbles <laughs> coming up above the fish there. Um, and then I also like these kind of matte gold sequins. They're not super shiny, but they seem really beachy to me. Like, I know the sequin mix was not intended to be beachy, but I feel like it just fits. So many of the colors just work so well. Um, so once I get those glued down, that is um, where I finish up my layout. I am super happy with how it turned out, and I would love uh, to see if you do any of the um, sparkles as well. Let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.